What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review of a new Screambox original release, believe it or not, called Pussy Cake. Yeah! So yeah, did you guys know the Screenbox, the streaming service that does all the horror movies, actually has original movies coming out now? They have a whole lineup of stuff that's coming out this year that I just realized. Gonna have to subscribe here, and you can too if you want, for 30-day trial free. So you can go to their website at Screenbox.com and sign up and even check out this movie. So what is Pussy Cake anyway? Well, it's definitely not an edible. <laughs> I can't even say it. So what is pussy cake? <laughs> so what is I can't fucking do it. Look, pussy cake is a movie about a girl band, a rock band, a punk band, alternative band that's on the road traveling when they stumble into another dimension of some sort that actually causes people to attack one another and they find out that there's a lot more going on and they have a hell of a time trying to keep the band together. This is a movie that is brought to you by Cynodyne, Bloody Disgusting, and of course Screenbox, which it's an Argentinian film that uh, actually, it's funny, when I started watching this movie, I kept thinking to myself like, God, this feels like a movie that I really like and I know what it is. And I was like, this reminds me of Plaga Zombie Mutant Zone. And come to find out, it's the same freaking director. Uh, who knew? So yeah, director, writer Pablo Pares is the one that made this film. If you're not familiar with Plaga Zombie, there's a, well, there's a quadrilogy now, but there is a trilogy coming out that's on Severn that I literally just ordered because I love these movies so much. These are some splatter fest, sort of like, uh, what would you call it? Like a Peter Jackson's dead alive style movie mixed with a lot of like comedy and humor and horror and there's a, a group of friends that go out and fight zombies and it's it's a lot of fun and it's extremely gory uh this one is probably my favorite there was a one before it called plaga zombie there's plaga zombie mutant zone which this is and another one called plaga zombie revolution Toxica, which I have not seen and even a fourth one called plaga zombie american invasion that i just watched a trailer for this movie does have a couple other writers on it by the way we have maxi Ferzola, who this is their first time writing on a script and hernan moyano who's actually normally an editor for a lot of movies but uh, has also done some writing as well uh, including penumbra the movie from 2011 but this movie in particular if you've seen all these movies you kind of know what to expect that there's going to be some gore there's going to be some crazy wild shit on the screen but this one is a little bit more toned down uh, from the gore there is a lot of gore in here but not as much as i would expect from something like plaga zombie mutant zone and the tone of this movie is a little bit more of a realistic kind of vibe going for it than more of the comedy stylings that pablo has done in the past a lot of the creature work that they do in this movie has a very aesthetic kind of creature look they have like a, a zombie that is sort of like and i say zombie because these are sort of like dimensional creatures taking over people's minds and turning them into zombies and maybe that's why i felt like a connection to plaga zombie in some regard because there is that aesthetic to it that has some pretty wildness to it uh there's like a guy that has like a mohawk there's some pretty disturbing looking like slashed up face sort of zombie-esque creatures in this but it's got a lot of creatures it's it's a story that is a little bit more sparse when it comes to some of the action and the gore like some of the other negatives are is you know it, it does have some moments in there where it feels a little choppy and it kind of doesn't feel like it blends together 100 percent. there's going to be some moments in there where it kind of dips a little bit but it's always kind of constantly surrounding these characters if one character goes off they follow that one as well as like following the bigger group kind of bounces around a little bit there it just feels like it dips a little bit in the movie so you might have a little bit of an issue there so that could make it a little bit slower for you than you might want and that might bring down the score for you a little bit too but for the most part i think it was a pretty decent film as far as flow 
It's not the fastest flowing movie, and it is very different from these other movies that I've seen of the director. But I think it's a little bit more of the straight lace sort of straight and narrow story. It is LGBTQ plus friendly, um, which they have a, a couple in there. Uh, but I don't think that's the, the entire story of the movie. It's just part of the story. But yeah, I enjoyed this movie for the most part, though. I, I think it's a it's a fun movie to watch. It made it even better realizing it's from the director of Plaga Zombie for me, and I keep saying it over and over again, but I really love that movie. So now there are some things about it that did kind of uh, make me wander a little bit. There isn't a ton of characters in this one, but there are a lot of like pukings and kind of gross things going on that you will see in this movie that are pretty wild. They do not hold back on that. For some reason, some of these characters and creatures they have some sort of like vomiting thing that happens with them and i won't explain too much because i don't want to spoil too much but it just happens with them and it is pretty gross <laughs> Because the consistency of it, uh, yeah, it, it looks pretty, uh, it looks like jizz. I'm sorry. <laughs> and poor actors on this one. Anyway, but yeah, this one was one that I was expecting a little bit more from. I didn't get a whole lot from, but I still had a really good time watching it. It isn't exactly the most gory film I've ever seen, but I love the concept of it. This sort of other dimensional thing. They kind of lightly touch upon it in some of the lore. If you're watching the movie carefully, you'll see some things in the film that kind of allude to what is happening and why it happened. But I get a lot of uh, familiarity with the movie Puppet Masters and sort of that invasion of the body snatchers sort of style thing mixed with a Plaga zombie kind of mutant thing. They've kind of got a mix of those two things going on in this movie. While you're following around this band, her their manager, and uh, all the crazy stuff that happens with that. Now, for one of their films, it isn't one of my favorite Pablo films, but it is a pretty decent one that I wouldn't mind adding to my collection. But you can watch it on Screenbox, obviously, to check it out for yourself. I would say a little bit above average uh, as far as these sort of independent gore films go like i would probably give it like a 6.5 maybe a 7 depending on what you're interested in you may like it more or less conceptually i really love the whole other dimensions thing and then adding all these other elements in there with the band and this group of going through all this is pretty interesting they do a lot of different things in the movie that you might have seen in maybe other films uh i'm trying to think of another movie it kind of reminded me of motel hell uh, a little bit at one point there's a certain thing that happens in the movie that is kind of reminiscent of that but yeah for an indie film it's not too bad a little lighter on the gore but still a fun experience to be had especially with the concept and everything that's in there it looks clean it looks shot well for the most part uh, as an indie film and what a hell of a title right pussy cake come on you can't forget that right apparently it was called emesis uh, I, I don't know if i'm saying that correctly emesis but they changed it to pussy cake which i think pops a lot more obviously but yeah, have you heard of this movie? Have you seen it? Have you signed up for Screenbox? Are you a fan of Screenbox? Like, I'd be curious to hear what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. Are you a fan of Plaga Zombie? Have you seen those movies? Are you interested in seeing this now, knowing that it's from the Plaga Zombie guy? But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, long live the voyage.